This mechanic is garbage. Today, we're breaking down the legendary plat to ground to ground wave dash. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Don't get me wrong. Wave dashing is a great mechanic. It's basically a free speed boost and can help you move around the field way quicker. But my problem is when I see players wave dashing from the ground back onto the ground for no reason. If you don't know, the wave dash is most commonly used off the wall. And at the very high levels, it can be used on the ground for certain ground game plays and high level fakes. But at the low ranks, you don't need to wave dash to outplay your opponents. Truth is, the opponents are just staring at the ball anyways, so they really don't have a clue whether you're wave dashing or not. Bye bye! And kickoffs too? Why are you wave dashing on a kickoff? This is not faster. Not only that, but wave dashing for no reason is going to suspend your car midair. And if you're just jumping just to jump, your reactions are going to be super delayed in game. What an idiot! Truth is, just front flipping around the field is just as fast as jumping and wave dashing. Yes, wave dashing is great, but if I had it my way, I'd be teaching almost every other recovery mechanic like half flips and power slide recoveries way before wave dashes. They're just not that good. So yeah, if you're below GC, stop focusing on wave dashes and start getting your half flips and power slide recoveries down. That way you don't get memed on by me or your GC friends. Look at this dude. <laughs> Join my Discord for more free Rocket League tips. Or if you or someone you know is always wave dashing around the field for no reason and they're 18 plus years old, tell them to DM me on Discord with the keyword stop to get coaching for me and well, stop it. Link in the description below. Thanks for watching.